Hello, and welcome to the weekly weather briefing for June 6, 2022. I'm Stephanie Sullivan, meteorologist with the National Weather Service in San Diego, California. For this week, we have one thing and one thing only to talk about, and that is heat. We're looking at a long duration heat wave developing with highs increasing to well above normal. Let's get into some of the details. In terms of high temperatures, we're expecting them to increase through the week. For the valleys and mountains, temperatures peak on Friday, then hold steady on Saturday. For the deserts, temperatures are forecast to peak on Saturday. Minor cooling begins Sunday, but we'll only see a 2-4 to four degree drop, which won't offer much relief. So, what kind of temperatures are we talking about? For Friday, Highs will be in the mid-80s to low-90s in inland Orange County, the San Diego County Valleys, and the mountains. For the Inland Empire and Mojave Desert, highs will be in the upper 90s to low 100s. The low deserts will be the hottest, with highs of 110 to 115 degrees. These will be the highest temperatures we've seen so far this year in the mountains and deserts. Near the coast, our good friend, the marine layer, will help moderate temperatures, so at least the beaches will be pleasant. Moving on to Saturday, high temperatures will be similar to Friday for most locations. It'll continue to warm up in the low deserts, where highs could exceed 115 degrees in some spots. If you have outdoor activities planned for the next weekend, you should consider canceling them or at least moving them to a cooler part of the day, like the morning or evening. Early season heat can be especially dangerous since we haven't acclimated to hotter weather yet. So what does this hot weather mean in terms of impacts? There's a high risk of heat-related illness in the deserts, especially for those who are sensitive to heat or do not have effective cooling, such as air conditioning, or are not adequately hydrated. For the Inland Empire and portions of the mountains, the risk is moderate. With the long duration of the heat and warm conditions even at night, the effects of heat become amplified, making it even harder on the body. So, what are some ways to stay safe in the heat? The easiest way is to stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water, even when you don't feel thirsty. Avoid strenuous outdoor activities, such as hiking your yard work. If you must be outside, take frequent breaks in the shade or indoors. If running a fan isn't enough, try to find somewhere that has air conditioning to help cool off, including cooling centers, such as libraries, run by your city or county. You can help others by checking on friends, family, and neighbors who may be more susceptible to the heat, such as the elderly or those without adequate shelter. And heat wave or not, you should never leave your children and pets unattended in a vehicle. That's all we have for this week. As always, you can find the latest forecast and warning information for the upcoming heat wave on our website at weather.gov slash San Diego. Thanks for watching and try to stay cool.